I don't know what we're going to use that one for just yet, but maybe. But I want to make sure that like the server is off the screen, generally speaking. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. I don't remember exactly where we left off. I think it was this on URL request thing. And that was the issue that we were having. But I'm not entirely OK, so the model is a concept of which page the user is. Our goal at this point is to have init set that model page value based on the URL received. Relation from URL to page. All right, so I think I have a way, I think I already have that. We have it, page equals get, page equals folders, page equals good. Okay, and then I think last time we figured out that we can get this working but none of the clicking works yet. I think we do need that other server, but I have to remember what the heck it's called. Um, history, app, main elm. Sorry. Luckily, nobody's watching. Feel bad. Something like SPA. I mean, maybe if I do grep SPA. Oh, of course, Spago contains SPA, and I was doing a ton of peer script stuff. Um, so Elm, single page server. Okay. What I need is just the server there's nothing in about the server that they okay I gotta find this I thought we had this working before, but I just don't remember. Oh, here it is. Here it is. HTTP server S. HTTP server SPA. Directory. History, wrap, HTTP server. I know you can't see this, but it is what it is. Okay, I think I just need to do a dot. Okay. 
we do that, do we get the same thing? Oh, it's probably not 8,000. It's 80, 80. Okay, and then if we do gallery, it still doesn't activate this one. Should be true, false. Okay. So, where do we have that? Should, should be true. View header. Okay. Maybe we just need to keep going. I don't remember what we found out last time. There was something that we decided that we needed to do. Then I don't remember. So what what is URL? It's Let's see what that is. It's a string, so we can crash. Oh, but I need to rebuild. So up here we can have home command history. Let's do R. I think there's a watch command. Well, we can I guess we can just So, okay, so now over here we'll have Elm compiling and then over here we'll just serve. Don't hope that's. Okay, so gallery. So it knows that the URL is gallery, which is very weird. Show. Page equals target page. I don't understand what this colon function thing is, but it's okay. View header. Target page. <laughs> what am I doing? The so view header model dot page. Page. Then what we want is to say, if we get gallery, but I don't understand. Seems to me like It's not. Yeah, it is. 
URL. Target page. It's target. It's a page. It's either... Ah. So we need to pattern... Oh, wait. We did pattern match. Right. So this is false because... What is page again? This takes page and input. Can I show this? The so URL target page is clearly gallery, but page is not the same. So it takes model page. just view so what is the page page should be gallery that would be my guess how do I print how do I print that Oh, I just write a function to do it. I'm sorry. There is no show. Show. I'm going to take a page and turn a string. arrow gallery folder not found so our shoulder okay and then what we'll do is we'll just show the different pages. So our message is going to be, but well, we don't really need a message. And then say, we want to know what our, well, we just need to know what our page and our target page are, I guess. So show page, page. Show page, target page. And then that way we should be able to see which pages that we're on because I don't understand why it's not different. So we start a gallery here. But we've somehow changed to folders. So where can we set that the page is folders? I suppose it can happen in... If we get the root directory, then the page can change to folders. And if we if we do the root
it still thinks it's gallery, which is very weird. Uh, page. So where are we updating the model to be gallery? Like the only thing I can see where we would update the model, so page, is here. But why would that really don't understand what's going on but our page should be folders right what goes first show page folders but the target page is what we pass headers how is that even getting changed the only way that can get changed is if this is URL.path is gallery. And that would only happen if we had a changed URL, I suppose. And that doesn't show up in here. Always the same understand something is broken but we should we should just continue it so we need to define a parser parsing URL path we have our page we've done that. so sort of the structure of a URL, so that's fine. We need to define a parser. Did we do that? I don't know. URL parser is parser. 4.0, nice, wonderful. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's themselves, for sure. For sure, you just gotta put in the work. As, long as you put in the work, you're good to go. So right now, uh, we're basically trying to debug what's wrong with our parser. Something is broken. I don't. I do not know what right now. So we have this parser. Okay. In our init function, string Okay, so yeah, I think we need to finish this function. There's a parser dot one of function. Basically here we define our parser. So our third parser will be this one. Our first parser will be parser map folders parser dot top I assume means top level parser dot map gallery s gallery 
Okay, so this, I guess, means... I'm wondering if maybe there's some weird defaults with this parser, and that's why it was doing something strange before. I'm not really sure. Okay, so that gives us that. And we can just fix our init function. And we don't even need to deal with this. We can just do get rid of all of this. We can write. page equal url to page broken here Oh, I'm missing this URL. That should be. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they don't want you to fail. They just, uh, just going to spend some time. Like, I remember, actually, I was talking to my girlfriend about this literally today. I remember when I first started taking chemistry in undergrad, I spent a ton of time in the office because I had taken chemistry before. Then I ended up getting a chemistry doctorate. So it's all about the effort you put in school. Okay, so that should fix that. Now let's see if that fixes anything here. Folders gallery still. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully we can figure out where this is going wrong. Still have no Okay, so we're replacing some of this page. Target. What's the difference between? Oh, right. We were trying to catch these things, but I don't think we have to do this. We just need this. Do this, I guess. Does this change anything? I doubt that it. Doesn't change anything yet. Something is broken. Still don't know what. 70. And we need an active function.
Link page. That's the wrong kind of. Maybe I can't use the equal equal here. Maybe that's the issue. That should get it. I think. Maybe that's the issue that we were having before, but it still seems to, like, this should be active. So confused. Um, but it didn't, it still hasn't worked. Okay. Anyway. So, message, click the browser. On URL change. Click link. URL. Does this just fix the problem? Does not. That's fine. Okay. Um, first, we have URL request click. Press a new file. Elm's runtime will set for update. Excuse me. Ah, I don't handle. Clicked link. What's clicked link? Browser dot URL. I need to deal with that somehow. I don't know how to do that yet. Here we go. It's right here. Update function.
URL request. Case URL request. Dot external href. Assume that means. of the code href. I know. Closer dot internal. Push your uh, key. string we need to add it take a closer look nav load performs a full page load just as traditional multi-page app would do. This call essentially says, if we get a request to a third-party page, load it as normal. We don't have to do it this way, though. The internal variant is similar to the external one, but slightly more involved. Push URL wants the URL in string form rather in rec than in record form. We'll get to the model key soon, but first let's go over the nav push URL. What? nav push url does differently from the nav load okay push url is to push the given url onto the browser history stack this has a few implications the url shown in the browser's address jar will become this one the browser application will send a change url event update with the with this url stored inside it that's because we spent change url our change handler set up browser app. Okay. When the user clicks the back button in the browser, this URL will now be one of the ones it goes back to. Uh, what's the deal with this model key? We just need that the key. Need to go to our init function, and you see how we have this nav key right there. We need to include that. So we're gonna say key equals key. Apparently. And we also need to add it to our model. Key have key and then our init bunk is to be init one thing I just realized is we haven't been using the right init function funny I wonder if that has been the our problem this entire time. Find out. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> so you can see now that the gallery this works. Can I click these buttons now? Yep. See? So if I click folders, it goes to root. If I click gallery, it goes to gallery. If I click back, it goes back. Forward, it goes forward. So now we have the routing set up. And I think my bug this whole time, for the reason it wasn't working, is that I was using the wrong init function. Uh, I was very confused about this last time, but I just noticed that we've been using the wrong one. So anyway.
Never change it. Okay, we don't need to change nav key, apparently. Need that. Uh, now that we have the clicked link message fully handled in update, it's time to circle back to the changed URL message. I think I already did that. Model page equals URL to page. Yeah, we did that already, so that's fine. Yep, so this is all done. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is actually delegate the pages. So now that we have a working router, a uh, single page router, we can we can basically put the applications in these two buttons so that they end up, you know, displayed here. So we're going to do that next. Okay, so we're going to start with photo folders. We need to call photo folders dot view. However, at the moment, our main function can possibly call photo folders dot view because the photo folders it's a lot of words. Uh, doesn't publicly expose view. Okay, so we need to um, get our photo folders tab, and we will expose probably. Oh, we haven't finished this yet. So uh, at some point we're gonna need to finish this. But I wanted to get to the point where this was actually showing. I can see here that it says what? Oh, never mind, never mind. Model message it date view. Okay, so there's photo folder. And then uh, they rename photo gallery, but I guess I'll do that. Probably need to close this and restart stuff. Move source photo groove source photo gallery. And we can open main photo gallery E. We will expose our it model message wrote in it. It's kind of funny, he wrote in it twice. Update view. Maybe it makes more sense to put in it over here. Kind of interesting that's not, that's not even like a warning or anything. Maybe it is a warning, but let's see if it's actually a warning. In it. Oh, no, it does error out, so th that's good. It didn't seem like it was going to, but it did. Okay, so now we have all of that stuff. Down here, we can just say import uh, photo folders and folders photo gallery. Yep, and then we're gonna have to basically Store these things at some point. Okay, so now we can call the view functions inside photo folders. If you want to run the tests again, storing 
photo folders dot model hmm how are we going to call the view function which requires the model it says it wants a model but we're inside the photo folders module meaning it wants a folders model not a main model if we're calling this function from main how will we be able to provide this function the answer is we'll store a folders model inside of our main model okay so inside model we're gonna have wait page why is it in page ah okay okay i see i get it so if we have a gallery pass gallery model we have folders we'll pass gallery folders model sorry and then i suppose we have to store the folders models okay so we need to start with well we don't need this function anymore. let's just get rid of that what we need to change i think is our init function 84 is active Okay. Folders that in it takes an army we hide shirt. So here we're gonna run. There's that knit unit assume it will get to that gallon All of these gallery score these folders folders score I think okay and then let's see what's going on We get selected photos. In our folders. Dot This. I guess we need first.
See that? Forget what it is. So we need A, B. Oh, it's spelled out. Okay. First. That work? Maybe I need to write tuple dot first. Yeah. So the problem with the code he's got in there is basically we have this message thing we need to deal with and that's not no, we can't. So we need to do this. Yeah. Okay, so he points out that something is wrong with this anyway, but oh it's not. But so what's going on here? Maybe I don't need this. Okay, let's get rid of this. Does this code compile? The init value is a float. No, wait. What what float does? It oh, a version. Let's just put a floating point number there to make it happy. And then we need to pipe to tuple. Okay. So this one, what's this complaining about? Selected photo. Needs okay, I see. Select photo needs folders model. And here photo underscore so under that should compile this should take model should go first I guess. string comes Yeah, this can't be right. Um, all right, so selected photo is supposed to take a string. So this is mapping selected photo partially applied to this. But what it really needs to do is take like X, stick it here. So is there a flip function? Yeah, so we could flip. First flip come. Oh, of course, it's not, not built in. 
So let's not let's not do that. We'll just do uh S S. Go look at select just a string. So it's like a name or something. Okay. So the code that he has in the book is incorrect, but it also says that this is kind of tedious. And I guess, I mean, I don't disagree. So we'll, we'll fix it. Gotta do a little give me a second. Okay, so we're gonna use data structures for different situations. We're gonna store different models in the page and different routes in the routes. And then we'll apparently fix some code. Page. Okay. So sometimes I find it awkward the way the book goes down one path and then changes. Like I understand what he's trying to show, but this feels awkward to me sometimes. Not all the time. I have experienced a little bit of code not working recently. But we're not going to have selected photos anymore, apparently. We're going to have a gallery page and a folders page and a not found page. Then we're also going to have a route, a gallery, folders. selected string and then we're going to go through I guess the errors from this so we need to go deal with nav link let's go do that so nav link now going to take a route router a route give us a url caption message target page becomes route active it's route there's going to be a lot of broken code but we'll go through, or like I'm not getting failures here because there's some other failures in the file that this is where the book says. So I'll just start. So is active. It's clearly going to take routes. Route. Route, but we no longer have all these underscores. We also don't have the selected photos one, so that simplifies this function quite a bit. We'll only have not found. What route 
do we? Selected. Oh, we need the selected photo one. Sorry. Just not this one. So I think that's how this ends up looking. Gallery. Oh, the second one's going to be a page. We have a link and a page. This is going to be gallery page underscore. That's going to be anything. This is going to be folders page underscore anything. And we'll have folders, folder page true, gallery, folders, selected photo, false. Done. Uh, now we need to deal with URL to page. Uh, what's this complaint? See. The first argument to is active is not what I expect. Uh, let's see. What... Oh, right. We're going to have to fix that as well, but that's not what this is complaining about. Um. I don't understand what this is. This is a route page is a page. Page page. I don't know. Anyway, we'll come back. URL to page. Uh, case parser parse parser Folders, folders, page. Folders, dot init. To first. Just select photo, file name. Duplicate first, and then nothing. Not found. Okay, now here we need to fix this function because this is now broken. Um, I think this just becomes this just goes back to what it was. Right, gallery is a route now. So this becomes route, I think. Yeah, and this file name's 
unused, but I assume we're going to change that here in a little bit. Is the code compiling now? It is. Nice. Okay. So, our init function. Need there's control. Yeah. want to do is instead of this we want to turn this in maybe string selected file name or say initial model Update select photo URL equal selected file name, I guess. Oh, it's already a maybe. I don't need to, I don't. Okay, and then if we go back to here, we'll say folders it nothing. Just file name. Something's broken again. Okay, so photo folders is complaining because our program is broken, um, but that's actually totally fine because we're. I think we're gonna remove this main at some point anyway, so that's not a big deal. But everything else should compile, and it does. Wonderful. Okay, so what we need to do now is deal with the pasta version thing. And basically the reason is that this is like hard coded as one, but we need to deal with the, so we're gonna have this take a float here, and then we're gonna say version, and then we're gonna put that over here, version. we need to deal with that down somewhere. Probably right in our mouse, but first we need to deal with index HTML. That's not what I want. It's not here. Um, it's in something <laughs> that's helpful, huh? Initialize. Okay. So you can see how we did this here. So what we need to do is add flags. And then we probably need to do these descriptions. So 
the version. Node stays the same. We go deal with this in mean. This to here input oh tag. And float, say, version. Oh, it's not flags anymore. Pass in the Version. It's version, and then we need our model contain version float, and then we've got to deal with other place that this is a problem. So one thirty G. So it's just URL to page will get model dot version down here. Version I guess. Uh, don't we need to deal with the subscription though? Oh right, we're just passing this. We're just passing the version all to the init. So what next? In order to call folders view, we need a folders model to pass it. Fortunately, we now have one of those stored in our model. We also have gallery model the gallery view. Let's have the content declaration that our main view function call these functions, depending on which page we currently have stored in the model. Sure. We need view. Then equal. Probably this means we need to do something that content. Ace model dot page in of there's Page me found text. And then instead of this text, 
we'll stick content in here and then you'll see view call produces html gallery message but all other branches are folder message and what we really want i guess is a uh a message that's consistent with our model what's going on pretz oleg first name i suppose i can use unless you'd prefer me to call you pretz which is fine you let me know so in this particular case what we need to do is i I think what you need to do is basically map the message types. Uh, I think I would use pure script, but don't quote me on that. Not, I, I've not fully explored pure script enough to say I like one or the other. I do really miss having type classes, like a lot. Not having like a default show function is really kind of annoying to me. But again, like writing Elm is great. It's super easy. The compiler produces pretty nice errors. So I'm pretty happy with Elm. But I also miss the power. I feel, I feel weak. Okay. If that makes sense. Uh. All right, so we need to map, apparently. We need a way to convert our message functions to messages within inside. So we're gonna just add them. yeah i don't think you saw the most re maybe you didn't see the most recent stream but we've pretty much ironed out all of those issues so like it was mostly me just not understanding how to use halogen it wasn't pure script like the language that was a problem it was halogen that was tough and i think that we're at a point where i kind of understand halogen enough is it so uh, Like, I don't think that it's pure script's fault. I think it's just that uh, halogen is quite a bit more complicated than Elm, and it took me a minute to, to figure that out. Okay, so now we're going to deal with these messages. What we need to do... is, I guess, deal with these messages somewhere but first we can fix this function by calling html map got folders message i guess it's like this Well, sure, we can do it either way. We'll make it consistent with the book for future viewers, but shouldn't really matter. Map got folder. And then here we can do HTML map got gallery message. That should fix that type. And then we need to go deal with the update function. I guess. And it seems like we also have to deal with the subscriptions function. So we'll say right now, got folders message and anything, just model command none. Just to make the compiler happy got gallery message model 
Done. And we should be compiling again. And now we need to add some subscriptions, apparently. Becomes model. Page of gallery page. Description. App got gallery message. Otherwise, sub dot. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what gallery subscriptions we have. Oh, I, did, I guess I didn't expose it. So we need to do photo gallery subscription. Subscription. That should fix that compilation error. And what next? Deal with our app. Delegating update. We got a folders message. Say case of. Yes, we have. Folders page. Folders. Folders function. Ay, ay, ay. So this is converting. From our model to Okay, so taking a model and a uh, an update from folders and turning it back into an update with a possible message from model folders. Model. Page. Page. Command. App. Folders mess. Command. Guess. Yeah, so there's like a lot of wrapping going on here to deal with the different types. I'm trying to think if I have to deal with this in pure script or not. Well, in halogen again. Pure script. I'm not really sure. It's been so quiet in the chat, I haven't gotten any hydration messages. I suppose I should reduce the X that's required for the or the hydrate one to print. I'll read this later. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this code will look very similar apparently. So we'll just gallery pay. Okay. Oops. Okay. So it seems like we have a working Okay, so we are, uh, the command messages, somewhere up here we have tuple first, and basically the problem with this is that we're chucking away the updates, so we need to deal with this as well. We're going to replace this with a different function, apparently. Update Earl. And what is update Earl going to do? It's going to take a URL. Model. Turn model. Don't ask me why I'm talking like that. Ah, I see. So now we have now we have a function that can deal with this. We can say gallery net version through yet oh model version and then we can feed that right into our two gallery model. Then we can say just folders, folders init. This one takes nothing. Pass that to two folders model. Okay. Done yet? Just. Photo, file name, 
will be folders init just file name. This feels starting to get very mechanical, but that's fine. Nothing become return full found command. I would guess. Okay, then we need to go deal with our net function, which changes who version you are. E. Basically, we delegate on forward. And also changed become just update you are. Okay. Now let's see what works. Okay, let me get rid of this. So now we have, this doesn't work yet because I, I this is broken. So uh, that's fine, but this side should work and it does. So like we need to fix this, but this works. And then also we should be able to just click our gallery and this. Should work, but it doesn't. Probably because I'm missing the canvas code. I already have this open. Okay, so I don't need this anymore, but I do need this. And ports there we go so i I had this deleted, so the canvas wasn't showing up, and then this should just work as expected. And then we should be able to go back to folders and we see our folders in the view, but this is still broken. We'll have to fix this. Um, and at the right time. Okay. I feel like I haven't gotten anything done. Or I feel like I've gotten a decent amount done. When did I start? Six. Been streaming I'm now confused I've confused myself okay an hour and a half halfway through so before I forget I gotta thank uh, Sens Rage who followed after uh, the stream they were having trouble with the stream but they followed anyway we appreciate that Shady Endless also uh, Karng who followed like two uh, like 30 minutes before the stream started. So if you're hanging out in stream, feel free to say hi. Um, I'm willing to answer questions about what I'm doing, these sorts of things. So feel free to bother me. All right, so we do have a bit of header duplication going. Main view header puts H1 in the upper left. Then each of the pages also put its own competing H1 in there below it. 
Okay, so we'll just delete, we'll just delete the H1. Uh, we're probably done with this. So somewhere in here, there's an H1 that we delete. Uh, no, not there. Somewhere in here, there's a view header function, maybe? Probably this one. What we should do, I guess. Yeah, we'll just delete it. Here we should also have an H1. We can. Okay. Get rid of that. Folders and here if we click gallery that goes away. It's a little nicer, I guess. I don't love that this is all the way over here, but like I'm not doing a CSS stream. I'm doing an L. Okay, so it says we're gonna we're going to turn the file buttons on the folder page into links. When the user clicks them, the URL bar will update blah 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 but our URL bar isn't working so I think what we need to do what I need to do is stop this part and then back up to where we were with the previous chapter and start fixing it because we had something going on that wasn't or we didn't know if it was working or not and so we needed to test it only way we could test it is by viewing it so that's what we ended up doing but so now we can actually view this thing and what we we're trying to test doesn't work i think you're supposed to be able to like click these buttons and they're supposed to expand and contract that doesn't work, obviously. So we need to go back and fix this component over here. So that means we need to open up this and see where we stop, basically. Okay. So let's look at our message type. So we got click photo, got initial photo, clicked folder, folder path. Okay, cool. Our update function has toggle root equals toggle expanded path model root, etc. Got it. Modifier view folder function folder toggle on the user's click. Okay, so maybe this is where we are. View folder. Okay, let's see. We got view subfolder. Folder label. If folder expanded then that content view sub folder sub expanded Folder label hence
Well, they're like. And index. It's path. And subfolder. Okay. So this looks right. So let's go see if anything changes. There we go. These don't look right though. I think these are supposed to be in the so like that seems incorrect. But maybe not. Let's see if that. I think it is right. I think we just need to like put stuff in subfolders, expand. But I think it's okay. So, yep, so now I think we need to continue. Okay, so view photo function we have, which means we need to write it. Put it near our view function. So right now we're dealing with um, basically getting photos from these particular folders, I guess. So at some point we should see, like we want to add folders to this outdoors, indoors, outdoors, indoors thing. And uh, I guess they're going to be different folders here that we can click on and mess around with. But we need to add all of that function. Okay, so we're going to have view. Hang on, I got to sneeze. Here. Might be able to get away with that one. Oh, no, here it comes. I knew it was coming. I could feel it. Okay, so, you photo. Girl equals if s photo on click clicked photo URL put it there. Okay. Yeah. View photo. Next, we'll use view photo to render the photos right below subfolder folders definition contents folder. Folder. List. List of end. Yes, this, this. We also need this dot map photo folder dot photo. Recompiling. Guess that handles you there. OK. 
Okay. Uh, what does this actually do? What I want it to do? I don't know. Oh, it does. Okay. I'm a little confused at where those are showing. Oh, I guess it just it does the subfolders first and then must be in the folder. Yes. Okay, but anyway, we 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 now have that working. Okay. So we've now built an interface of folders, each of which can Photos and subfolders. <clears throat> now it's time to load that data on the fly by server. Model we define stores its photo in a field called photos, dictionary photo, or by decoder, dictus photo. <clears throat> so we're going to have a type alias JSON photo is going to be a title, it's a string, it's an int, and related wells, probably list string, yes. And then we're going to have a JSON photo decoder. It's going to be a decoder JSON photo. So it basically says we're going to deal with the uh, URL later. OK, fine. Coder dot succeed we need required title string required size int Required related photos okay. Oh, decode, not decoder. Okay, so we got a JSON decoder. The JSON photo type we've introduced here is an intermediate representation value we'll use only to help us translate from one value to another. In particular, a JSON photo value will help us get from JSON to a photo record. Yep, fine. Okay, we can now decode a JSON photo record which holds all the information necessary to make a photo record except a URL string. The URLs we need are in the object's keys. And decode those keys by using the code key pairs function. This type.
finish, whatever. Finish photo. Ring. Jason. Go. String. Photo. L. Jason. Jason photo. Jason, which is weird because it's not Jason, it's a Jason photo. Whatever. So. What do we need the string? I don't know what the string is for yet, but I guess we'll find out. Been very quiet today. How's everybody doing? Feel free to uh, ask questions if you like. I am here answer your questions but it's been very quiet and then we will return this URL url it's json size equals json title so this is just a function so we can map between uh, what's going to end up being these key value pairs to string photos else Jason did do nice Need this into our mapping function. Finish photo. Then we're gonna feed that into a function that okay, just dict from list. Okay. So we need a photos decoder going to be a decoder string JSON photo I guess list String photos decoder is going to decode dot value pairs JSON seems to compile. Okay, now we have a photo decoder. But what we want is a decoder. What we really want is not this list of these things, but we want the dictionary. So what we need to do is take this, do decode 
the map finish photo from pairs. And then that will get us decoder of a dict string to Apparently it's formatted. Photos decoder. Okay, so now we need to decode recursive JSON. I believe you've added a JSON decoder for our photos record. All we need to do is do the same for folder. Focus outermost. Okay. Have a folder decoder probably. Code folder. Der. Folder decoder. Decode that succeed. Folder JSON, which we'll apparently write here. Acquired name ring acquired. Photos, photo decoder, decode, wired subfolders, list folder decoder. Right, so it's recursive because we need to continue through to subfolders. And that's the only way you can. Do that is by stuff that is exactly what we want. Uh, but we need this folder from JSON thing. Gonna take string dict from string to photo list of folder. Return a folder. In Photos, subfolder. Right, because we're basically using like an applicative syntax. It's not really applicative though, but that's, don't think it is. No, it's not, but it looks like applicative. Name, expanded, true, subfolders, subfolders. Photo equals dict dict dot keys photos. Yeah, I guess there's real like. It's not really an infinite loop, but maybe it is. Uh, are you are you are trying? Maybe I can fix that. Helm does not have mutation, so when I see folder decoder defined in terms of folder decoder, I treat it as a recursive definition. Try giving the name new value a new name. Maybe you do want a recursive. Value. To define folder decoder. Um, okay. Suppose it's probably going to say something like.
that this will fail, but I mean, generally I understand what's going on here. So if you're trying to compile it, we'll get a cyclic definition. Easy. Okay. You need to say, hey, dude, be lazy. Be like Haskell. Again, non strict verse. Okay. So list here can go on either. We need this decode lazy thing to solve these kinds of problems. Fine. to do this but okay model photo decoder decoder dick string photo it's decoder eco dot succeed goes We supposed to use fold, not folder decoder. We need the other one. Model photos decoder. Photo. Dict string photo to list dict photo. String Dict String Photos Subfolder Hey, this is the first time we've called Foldo.
So does this imply that we can never have photos with the same names in different folders if we're just doing a dictionary union? Not entirely. <clears throat> well, we know about folds, so this isn't a big deal. Probably going to skip. Ah. Hey, Anthony, what's going on? Just hit my funny bone. Or just set your elbow down on a desk. Do that. Dangle up your spine. Happened to me. So, I don't know if you saw the last one, um, but we're, we're getting to the point where we're almost done with this. Although, yeah, it still should work. So like we now have expandable folders in this little gallery thing. There's nothing in these, but that's fine. Um, we have our navigation working between the two little applications and everything else works. So there's some issues with the, like when we click on these photos, there's supposed to be stuff go like it's supposed to expand this. But we'll fix that here in a little bit, probably. Maybe we'll fix it tonight. I don't even know. It's almost 9.30. I'm going to stream until 10 o'clock or so. So I might not finish it tonight. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. You? Yay. We got this. I don't want to read this. Joining two decoders. Model decoder. Coder. Model. Finished uni, finally. Like done, uh, fourth year, or just for the this particular year? What was your major? You may have told me this already. I apologize if you did. I think that means bachelor's with honors applied computing. Interesting. What are you going to do next? That's a huge plus. Applied computing. Work in industry. Did you get to do like um a internship or anything during undergrad? That's usually a pretty cool thing to do. Hey.
All right. So you you're basically just putting together like a a portfolio or something of of the code that you've been writing and then Okay, so now we can get rid of our stupid model decoder. Cash. Uh, collected. Oh, it might be URL. Okay. Portfolio, yeah. Moment. Nice. Notion. I don't know what Notion is. Notion app? It's wiki. Yeah, LaTeX is amazing when you're when you're doing that. I used LaTeX all throughout grad school, so pretty familiar with it these days. Have you been watching the the category theory for programmer streams with us? Or just doing it on Yeah, it looks okay. Looks like a note taking app. Okay, so now we have a model decoder. Don't we need to point this to something? Yeah, uh, it's it's complicated everything in higher ed. You're not wrong. <clears throat> yeah, there's just no money right now, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit to do a master's. But it's not gonna hurt you if you like go into industry for a little bit and then you know wait. Yeah, like you just said. Yeah. Just make sure to stay interested in master's and PhD type level work. You know, like you, you're going over the category theory. It's good, obviously. You'll be very cool. Killing me. All right, so now we have uh, all of these photos, apparently. And these come from a website, but I don't actually remember where, how this works, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on who you are, it's going to be very different, right? For, for certain people, we want to continue learning forever. Other people would prefer to just have a job and keep working that way. And that's fine. But like, if your plan is to go into grad school anyway, then obviously it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, it's the programming books, yeah. But again, I, I'm a chemist by training. I kind of have the same problem here. Okay, so the one thing I was trying to figure out is how does this thing re actually request the photos? Oh, it's right here, okay. We put this in there a long time. So uh, as long as we, we get this, then it's fine. What we were doing before was basically just ignoring these by uh, sticking in our own decoder. And somewhere around here, it's going to call model decoder Yep, here. And what we were doing instead of um, actually parsing the JSON from this URL, we were just filling in model decoder with something um, static. Very cool. Yeah, the, I mean, the brain is one of, they're probably the most fascinating organ in the body. All right, so that's it. We did it. We are 
officially done with Elm and Action Ice. No, we're not. I lied. We need to fix the URL clicking. So, like, uh, what do I mean by that? When I click two turtles, it should give me the path in the URL of the turtles. Two turtles. And beach. And I suppose one thing would be nice is, like, if these were highlighted or, you know, something like this. There's some features we could probably add, but, like, I'm not all that interested in adding features right now. Like, I think that I could do it, so it doesn't not that interesting to me. making the right so now we need to go back um, and we need to go into somewhere I don't know if it's here or in we'll find out let's back to run here so we Migdala and Hippo. Very common. Yeah. My cousin actually does some research on the amyloid structures that cause, thought to cause dementia. I don't know if it's thought or do. I don't know enough. But I know that something he something about the um the proteins I am saying that I hope it's proteins. I don't remember. But they they're supposed to like come together and uh pull back apart. But what happens is there's a defect in patients with dementia where the amyloid proteins stick together and stay together. So what you need to be able to do is basically get them to not stick together anymore. Otherwise, you'll have amyloid fibril dementia. There's also apparently this a similar thing can happen in your eyes, so you can have that. I don't know a lot about it though, so like I'm probably even wrong. Do not quote me on what I said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I don't know if I have enough time to to read yet another um, textbook like that. I have a whole hand behind me, and I do want to revisit like some of the stuff I did my during my PhD and rewrite it uh, on my own. Like what I was doing is using other people's libraries to generate certain things. And what I would rather do is, is write my own library to do that. Eventually. Okay. So you got this. Good. Page blah blah. blah. Caption. Bye. This is all good. This easy. Da -da. Ding. Ding. Okay. So routing clearly what we're talking about. yeah i mean um if you're anything like me and it sounds like you are you wish you knew everything so you're constantly like trying to gain information about whatever it is someone is speaking about and there's just not enough time in the world to make that happen so you kind of just have to pick like if you really love neurology just got to pick that thing my thing is programming that's 
spend a lot of time reading and trying to learn. But you gotta do whatever you like. Okay, so we got this stuff done. What we need to do is basically update the URL when there's a selected photo. So maybe that's all we have to deal with. Yeah, I mean, I'm fascinated by everything. The world is amazing. There's so much stuff to learn and not enough time to learn it. For sure. Oh, we're in the wrong place. We want to be here. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, I think about it like the, um, you know how they have, I don't know if you've ever seen Black Mirror, but in Black Mirror they have, like, you can download your brain into a computer and live forever. Like, I would be fine with that. I don't know i don't know what song you're referring to I, I don't know that band very well. i know the i've heard the band name before but i don't it's called. so like when we queen Oh, who wants to? Okay, I, I see where you're going. I was like, I don't understand what he's talking about. <laughs> I couldn't make the connection between the what we were like actually discussing in that song. Sorry. Okay, so we need to deal with the navigation to photos. So somewhere in here, there's like gallery. Uh, like the text gallery. This is a nav link. This is not really where we need to. Um, no, no, it's it. Don't worry about talking in riddles. Sometimes it's hard. Like, I don't have the same thought process as you, obviously. And we're not speaking in English, or we're not speaking in words. We're just I'm talking and you're writing text, so it can be it can be a difficult medium. Uh, I like Elm. I'm having fun with Elm. I complain about it a little bit, but it's only because the my viewpoint is from Haskell, not from JavaScript. If I was, if my viewpoint was I started with JavaScript and learned Elm, then I would be probably in a different place because I would find this language very powerful. But coming from Haskell, you actually find it limiting, and so you know it's just it's just a viewpoint. But that's not to say I don't like it. I do like it. I'm having fun writing it. It's a lot easier than, or at least starting is a lot easier than with, with pure script, for example. Need to figure out. We get the links to work for the photo. Uh, I did like one Nick stream, and honestly, I just hated it. I did not have a lot of fun with it. Like, it seems like the the ceiling, or getting to where I need to be to use Nix even recreationally, requires a lot of work. Um, whereas like, if I want to build a Docker container, I already know how to do that. I already know how to build singularity containers. Uh, so, like, it just doesn't feel like a solution that I need yet. Do you know what I mean? Like, wanting to learn it is not on my list. 
yet. At some point, I'm sure that I will want to do it. Like, I want to work. I know that I can do it, but I need to sit down and actually do it. That's kind of the, that's the trick. Possible. I do like, so like I saw um, Gabriel Gonzalez shared some information of like, when you use Cashix, you can literally just like say, here, use this Cashix URL. And then just you have your development environment set up for you. So there's very little work that you need to do. Okay, so this is what we need to do, I think. We have this push URL thing. So somewhere we're missing the... Okay, so we have that. We have this. Okay, here we go. So we have this. Okay, so in our init function, that just feeds to update URL. So in our update URL, two folders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, a lot of other, like, I can probably just copy and paste stuff from the internet and get Nix to work, but it just doesn't increase my productivity right now. It just, it just seems like something people want me to do on Twitch as well. So, like, Stack is working just fine for me, so, like, why would I, why would I switch away from that if I'm having a perfectly fine development experience? If I was being, if I was miserable, I didn't like what I was doing. No, that's not what I said. Not what I said at all. I'm just saying that for me, it, it's work, like, I'm not having any trouble. So why, like, what, what is my motivation to switch? I just don't have one yet. And, like, I know how to install software. I install research software with little documentation and build systems that aren't complete. So like, I'm very familiar with building software in some of the most annoying locations, annoying pieces of software that exist. I don't usually have that kind of, that kind of trouble. I don't know. It, it it just it hasn't come up yet. It will, and I will will be happy to to mess with it. Right, but right now I I just don't. Okay, so I think that this is actually working, and if we did uh slash photos slash two hurdles
Well, what's the name of this function, I guess? Let's see. Um, inspect. Two turtles, it looks like. So something's broken here, but I don't know what it is. So eight. This is unused. We can get rid of it. I mean, this does nothing for... This doesn't change the... I don't understand... How the the photos thing is supposed to work? Oh, maybe I need to nest it. So it's supposed to be like slash photos slash all slash twenty sixteen. Uh, doesn't seem like that's right. To that should probably fail. I would. If I do this, it should say not found. But what's weird is that it doesn't say not found in this case to turtles. It just fails. Which I don't I don't particularly like the So something is wrong there. So we should have a parser. We run our parser here, and we're supposed to get a just Don't we need to check if this is in the model? I think that's what we need to do, but what we probably want to do even before this is say. What's our model again? It doesn't contain anything about that. Did I just see a notification on my screen? See anything? I don't, I don't know what that. Uh, I'm a little confused. So what we're going to do is just go to the end of the book, look through the code real quick, and see if I can find the bug that's going on. Ah, there it is. I found it. Um, view photo. I knew there was a bug somewhere. Is 
suppose it's supposed to be this. Equals. You see what I wrote there? Uh, H. Source. A. HTML dot A. Well, it's not going to work. Tags A. Maybe I just need to write HTML dot A. Oh, wait, it's href. Stupid. It's fine. href. HTML attribute. Okay. href. Right, we don't use these main functions, so we can remove the main functions. These are now subcomponents. The main get removed from here as well. Do, do, do. Format this code. This code. We'll format this code. And then I think we should be able to write the following. Turtles. Where's the picture? We broke something. We're not viewing the photo. Ah, yeah, so here's an example of something that I don't like. There's probably a bool dot two string that I probably could have used, but it might not even exist. Those are those are things in in here that always annoy me. Ugh, annoy me. No, we're in main. We need to be in, and we just broke something. There's just a div. So on click, click photo URL, text URL. So that should be fine. Except again, this is just The only thing we changed. Uh, Anton, hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's Vim. This function back. I think we also had a show function in here. Um, it's not about, I mean, it's about what you're taught. So I was put in front of a computer and they said, here's Linux. And I said, what's Linux? I said, Google it. And then, then they said, uh, here's how you edit files with Vim. 
and so I used Vim. <laughs> That's it. Uh, there's no like there's no story behind it. I wasn't like Vim is better than Emacs. I'm so happy. Uh, I just I just use Vim because I'm familiar with it. I'm not even very good at Vim. Some people are very good at it. Probably doesn't really answer your question, but it's kind of why I use it. Book writer. I'm not a book writer. I'm a book reader. <laughs> I did write a dissertation, though. I guess that kind of counts as a book. It's it, You can download it from the internet. It's 300 pages, I think. But typically, I'm, like, working on books. So, like, today I'm working on this book. We're almost done, actually. Specifically. So, what broke? Something clearly broke. Because the photos no longer show up. Do they show up here? Show up here. They're gone here. Why are they gone? Is there an error? What is it? Control shift. I don't see any error. How many hours coding at work? So it depends. Like some weeks I spend most of my time like installing software and debugging stuff. Other weeks I spend. So this week I coded probably. 20 hours, I mean, not straight, but 20 hours a, this week, and then I also did streaming. We did th three hours of another book on Tuesday, and then we did three hours of a book today. Like 20, a few days a week. But like, how, how much of that time am I actually coding versus just solving problems i don't know but 12 ish hours what did i break i don't have an image anymore but there was no image there to begin with yeah i love coding like my favorite thing to do actually Break. Go back here. I think I broke one thing. Ah, okay, yeah, I need to make one more change. But yeah, but uh, like coding and learning about programming languages is like my favorite thing, which is why I stream it. Um, so we, we kind of, um, so I think in here we need to go to a, okay, we need to persist. So here we're saying 
we don't want to change our selected photo URL just because we've gotten a new select photo. Yeah, um, coding is really hard. It takes a long time to get good at it. Um, I do a like a workshop with people who have never coded before, and a lot of times it's just like. You, know, you have to tell them how long it takes to be even okay at programming because it takes quite a bit of time. It's it's a non-trivial thing. To Every time I show people loops for the first time, it blows their mind. If you've never seen loops before, it really hurts your head. But I've seen loops plenty of times, so it's not so bad. Okay, so that worked. But what was broken before? If I go straight to this page, it doesn't work. Because it, there's no initial. There's no selected photo. Not quite right. But this should, I mean, we would like this to work, but maybe we need it to work. But maybe that's okay. I don't know. Like for now, you can click these, it shows you that. But if you refresh the page, it fails. I want to fix that. That's very annoying. But I need to like trace where the problem is because I'm not even sure where it is. Poke around and see. It seems like we're getting this. So let's write debug.log. And we'll just log the URL. Oh, do it right. I think I need to do think. What's it complaining about? Oh, okay. So URL needs to be a string. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, don't I, I'm I can understand what you're saying, so your English is good enough. Yeah. Well, I agree. The open source community is is awesome. Uh, it's like uh, I try to do some open source stuff, but it can be pretty difficult. It's a URL. Bro, of course. Have you uh, tried to work on any projects yet? Also, what languages are you, or do you, do you want to use? So this, so we can just run.
just right. Case. Well, that's fair. I mean, you'll you'll be able to grow into that, so no big deal. Sure, parse. Parser. Of. Then what we need to do is say show. What are these things? What? Python and Go. Okay. I mean, those are great languages to start with. Python is sort of flexible and you can do anything generic. There's a library for everything. I wrote Python instead of route. It's kind of funny. Um, Go, I don't know enough about, but I, it's, you know, people really like Go. It's fast. A lot of the code looks exactly the same, which is important to some people. Um, there's types, so that's good. Um, but that's all I know. About. So just yeah, just keep at it. You'll you'll learn as you go. Those are good languages for both of those things, so that's good. Route of gallery, give me back gallery folder folder selected photo name, I think. Yep, selected photo and 142. Give me back select photo. Plus this. Oh, yep. And then we need to say. So this will just be so we want to take our parser and then we want to pass it to ah Don't fully understand that one. Chase the try saying it a different way. Fully understand that one. The other stuff I've totally understood, so that's pretty good. Very good. So oh. There's there's does this not give me back a route? Oh, it's a maybe route. That's the problem. So case just route Go wrap out. Nothing. Still do this, but right. So what we're trying to do right now is figure out what's going on with this code. So if I if I just pick this, I know that this is a photo um, because I should be able to click this and I get the photo. But if I just refresh this page, I get a bunch of errors.
ah, so it's looking for elm.js and initialize.js in the wrong place. So I need to update. It, it probably has nothing to do with this, actually. So we might be able to just get rid of this. And we need to open up index HTML. Then instead of elm.js, we need slash elm and slash initialize, I think. And that should be good. Perfect. Each fresh. All right, so we'll quickly format this code and let's also look for any unused things. This is unused, we'll get rid of it. I think there's a bunch of HTML in here, so we'll leave that there. Okay, I got it, I got it. That makes sense, sorry. Yeah, choose the right tool for the job. You've chosen correctly. You can always change later if you so choose, right? Once you learn one, you can, you, you'll be able to pick up any other one. Random. What am I using in random? A few things. Looks like uniform and generate. So we probably can just do as random exposing uniform generate. I think the code should still compile. But where are we using adders? We're using the max adder only. So we'll this to x should still compile check change check name see yeah this is the there's a lot of these so i don't feel like dealing with that uh, I also accidentally closed our main function, but we need to go through and just make sure there's not used code in here. It's not. We don't need this show route function. So we really what's going on. Format the code. Look for any more unnecessary stuff. So the first programming language I ever used was Fortran, and that was nine years ago, I guess. And if you've never heard of Fortran, it's a pretty old school programming language. But it was pretty much necessary for my PhD work. All right. So we're done. Now we also need to say in our readme. So yeah, I mean, that's what I had to write in. So the, like the code that I was working with was, you know, over 20 years old time, probably even, maybe even older. So it was important to important to have that running cache if anything before chapter seven can use this else.
something like that. Uh, not too concerned about that. We're done over here. So this, this, and then just so anything before chapter seven. Use this. Let's use that. Uh, but that's technically not even correct. Yeah, it is. I think it is. And then we need to write a note. seven notes. It's chapter seven and eight are combined into a single application. Chapter seven. Folder. This. was just order in which I wanted work. You could split chapter to two. So By and uh, initialize. Eh, I'm not even gonna write. That's probably good enough. 